Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Luna and I make Animal Crossing videos every single week. So if you're into that, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. In today's video, I decided to create a library or what the movie Beauty and the Beast calls it is a bookseller. So let's get right into creating this cottage vintage bookseller area. So this is the area that I will be decorating. I've done this in the past few videos where I'll lay the path down and then I'll show you guys each section and how it looks. I think it's just easier for you guys to see and it makes the video a lot shorter. This is how the first section looks. You'll see later on in the video that I had to destroy the staircase because I completely forgot that the staircase cannot be super close to a building and so I had to make some adjustments but this will be kind of like a balcony area for the front of the house and this is next to my double neighborhood that I created in the last video with Olive and Pecan which I will leave that video in the time cards on top. And this is the last section of the whole build. So this build came to mind super randomly. I wasn't going to create this build, but I did have this whole section empty. And so I was kind of going through the movie and I forgot that Belle would go every day to the bookseller to get her books. So I thought I should use this section and transform it into that bookseller. And to make this area better, I'm going to place a house and add a new character who I named bookseller. I'm going to decorate the house and transform it into a big library which I'll give a mini tour at the end and show you guys how the inside looks. I think I'm going to continue decorating my villager portion of my island because there are so many things that I want to add in this village before heading to create the beast castle but even though I've decorated a lot I still have a lot of land left to decorate and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to lay everything out. It's not going to be exactly like the movie because the movie doesn't really show the whole town so I'm just creating the town how I want it to be. I want to add bakeries and markets and of course I want to add Gaston's Tavern which I might work on in the next video. I'm not too sure. If not I'll probably continue adding my villager homes to my village but if you're wondering I will be creating another character and in the house I will be decorating it to look like Gaston's Tavern. I just find it so much fun when I'm going to someone's island and they have multiple houses and and they've transformed those houses into like a theme or something. It just makes exploring the island so, so, so much more fun. So here I am decorating this part, but like I mentioned earlier, this section I had to destroy so that I can move the staircase over. I was so bummed out when I was trying to add the house down and found out that I couldn't because of the staircase. I find it so stupid, but granted, I should have measured it before I decorated everything. But in my defense, I thought it was possible, but I gave Animal Crossing too much credit. But what I did end up doing was moving the tree over and removing the bushes and the fossil rock. I love using that fossil rock. It just looks so cute and it looks way better than the garden rock. And then I added a garden bench next to the staircase and added a little triangular topiary, which I'll show you at the end. But here I wanted to create a little seating area where you can sit down and read your little book. And for this big area, I'm just going to add more buildings by adding the medieval building slides and the castle tower in the middle. Oh, in other news, since I've been time traveling back and forth, one of my villagers decided to move and it was the one villager that I keep forgetting his name, Hippo something. Anyways, he was beefing with everyone. So when he decided to leave, I was okay with him leaving. So once he left, I ended up villager hunting and in hopes that I found Chops, Whitney, or Elvis and guess who I found on my villager hunt? Marlo. I always run into him. I think he's one of those repetitive villagers on my mystery islands which I'm not mad at. So I wanted to just take him because I think he's super super cute and he definitely looks like someone who would work for Prince Adam aka the Beast. But so far I have Marshall, Olive, Pecan, Chai, Gaston, Elmer, and Marlo who will be staying on my island and I just have Cherry, Judy, and Anchovy left to kick out. It's so sad because at first I 
didn't like anchovy to be honest i thought he wasn't the best looking but talking to him and having him on my island i feel so bad for him i don't want to get rid of him he's like my little baby who comes to me for everything he comes over my house i would come over to his house it's a relationship that i didn't even think would progress the way that it is going i'm probably going to move him to one of my other islands and keep him there for now but that goes to show you that you can't just be judging these villagers off of their looks because they can be such sweethearts except for ricky because we all know i don't like ricky but anyways we are almost done with this build on this side i decided to add more buildings to cover up most of the empty spaces and then in the middle i'm going to create another bookseller here i just added two medieval building sides for now i think later on i might extend the back of this a little bit further to give the back of the medieval building some support i haven't decided yet all i did was lay the path down all over my island as you can see in the background but you'll see what i do in a future video but for now i'll leave it like this and i'm decorating the front of this little library with some cute little items and some more books of course and then i'm just going to add the final touches to make the area look more cottagey here is how the inside of the bookseller looks I was going for a vintage look and I tried to add as many wooden bookshelves as I could and many, many books everywhere. In the movie, Belle came in and started looking for a book to read and she got on top of a ladder that was attached to the bookshelf. I wish we had an item like that, but we don't. So I just added a ladder here and added Belle as well. Here is how the front of the house looks. It's super cute. I really love how it turned out and I could definitely see Belle coming here to get her books and just relaxing on the sofas. Here is how the other side looks. I love this side so much. It definitely gives that vintage cottagecore feel with a hint of European style. And I love this library sign design. And I'll leave all of the codes that I use in this video in the description below. So if you like a code, go ahead and download it for yourself. And this is how I ended up fixing the staircase and the house situation. I moved the tree over and removed the two bushes. And if you can see in the back, I added the triangle topiary and another garden bench. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. I'll probably work on Gaston's Tavern for the next video or work on more of my villager homes, but I think I might create a poll on my community tab where you guys can vote on which video you would like to see next. I love how Chai just ran up in here like Sonic. I definitely love involving you guys in the decisions of my islands. But yeah, look out for that community post so you can cast your votes on which one you want to see next. Love you all always. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.